Hi guys! Hello there! And welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Leif. <laughs> Take four. <laughs> Hi guys! Hello there! And welcome to another episode of Massey, Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Lee, and this is Take Five. <laughs> <laughs> On today's episode, yes. we're going to be taking you to the Caribbean ah. with some Caribbean-inspired uh, colors that, that I chose and worked with. and Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. The, kind of under the sea, coral yeah. kind of colors mm -hmm. in there, some like yeah. really interesting like tropical fish type colors. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I see where you were going with this one. Interesting. Yeah. I really like the colors. I can't wait to see what they're going to look like in the mm. and, and the type of pour that I'm doing. Me too. And I'm doing the leaky cup pour, where I took a cup and drilled some holes in the bottom of it, right. and then uh, hot glued a little cap onto it, so that way whenever you pour the paint through, it comes out the holes and it leaves like this flower technique. I don't know if you've ever seen it before, but um, that's what we're, that's what I'm going to do today. Yeah, you've done a couple of these on the on the channel before, so you, yeah. I'll definitely link them at some point so you can see all the other ones. Yeah. But yeah, I'm excited to see this. It's been a little while. Yeah, the old Linky it Cup has. hasn't been out. It has. I'm going to take your Caribbean colours and I'm going to ribbon pour them onto a canvas. Um, but I kind of want to almost do like a slice of the Caribbean Got it. on this one. So Got yeah, I, and I really enjoyed my ribbon pour from the other day. So yeah, that's my plan. Well, I think it's an exciting plan. I am excited. I think we should go ahead and get to the table Let's and start painting. do it. Let's see you at the table. Hey guys, it is Jeremy here and I am excited about this. Mm -hmm. um, I'm loving the colors that we picked out. You picked out. Well, yes, but we kind of did together. Oh, well, I, th I, I love your palette today. It's interesting. Oh, thank you. Um, well, it is very Caribbean life. It is. Yes. Yeah, intentionally. Yes. And uh, what they are, our colors today, put my glasses on. Um, we have Carmine by uh, Amsterdam. All gone. All gone. We have Pearl Electric Blue by Arteza. We have Pearl Marmalade by Arteza. I love that marmalade. Yes. We have Vermilion by Amsterdam, which I love. Um, Permanent Blue Lights by Grunbacher. And it's mixed with? Yes, and it's mixed with this Master's Touch Ocean Green. I love it. Yeah, it so the intent a beautiful color. They did, the intention behind these colors is to get them very kind of like, Caribbean ocean and some coral kind of inspired. There's right? one more. I there is. Forgot. Okay. Yes. The 24 karat gold by Deco Art. How can you forget about the 24 <laughs> karat gold? I know. It's a staple. Yes. And, and you're going to do what technique, sir? I am doing the leaky cup. Oh my goodness, it's been a little while. Yes. I'm excited. And so tell me about your thickness of your paint. Um, the thickness of the paint is our regular consistency. And then I just added a little bit of water to it okay. to where it's doing a, a disappearing mound. Okay. Yes. So it's not the thin, thin consistency. It's not the everything else consistency, but it's the everything else consistency with just a dash of water in there. Yes, absolutely. Okay. I'm excited. So I, you know, that, you know, I haven't lived in Texas very long. There's a huge heebie-jeebie that's just like flying over there. Yes. Tell me what that thing is. Where? It's just underneath the Lazy Susan on top of the shelving unit. Uh, that, that's a wasp. That's a wasp? Yep. That's huge. Yep. Okay, you're allergic to wasps, right? Yep. Probably not. There, it left. Did he go? Yeah, he got okay. some fly Okay, okay, good, good, good. Okay. Hmm. A little bit of excitement. Right, some flying beasties yes. in the studio. So what's next? What is next is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flood my canvas with my flow extender here. Okay. This beautiful green. Which is actually the runoffs from <laughs> the last pour. Yeah, it is. Because we poured over some plastic, we just collected all those runoffs and it turned this beautiful kind of dark sea green. Yeah, it did. Mm -hmm. It really did. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and flood my canvas and then start with my leaky cup. Do it. Get, all right. get to it. Okay guys, I got my canvas flooded. Now to 
put my leaky cup in the middle of the canvas. And for anyone that is, hasn't seen the leaky cup, explain to them what it is. Oh, okay, so the leaky cup is, what I did was I took a plastic cup, I drilled holes in the bottom of it at equal, equal parts or equal spaces. It's a 5 16th drill bit that I use. 3 16th. 3 16th. Mm -hmm. I knew it was something like that. 3 16th drill bit I used uh, in the cup. And then I, I got a cap from a, I think it was Arteza. Arteza. I got one of these caps and I uh, hot glued it to the bottom of this in the middle of it. So that way, whenever I set this down on my canvas and I pour the paint through, the paint goes through the holes and it's lifted up so that way it doesn't... Just splotch. Splotch. Yeah, all over the place. So, nice little invention. Mm-hmm. Um, so now I'm going to find the middle of the canvas. I hope. And what size canvas is that one? This is a 16 by 16 gallery wrapped canvas. Nice, okay. I think that's pretty much in the middle. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty, it looks yeah. pretty spot, spot on, on to me, yeah. Well, let's get to pouring. There's a tiny tin man in the sand I see a flower in his hand Greeting all the mighty ways to land This playing space with sparkling grace I want to sing, sing, sing in a thousand ways Okay guys, so I have my uh, like flower design going here with my leaky cup. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the leaky cup and catch it with a piece of paper towel so that way it doesn't drip all across the design of it. There you go, sir. Thank you. Okay guys, so in the center right here, what I wanna do is I wanna bring the, the, the paint in closer together. So I'm gonna take a piece of paper towel and I'm going to dab it and push in the center. Mm -hmm. That way it pulls the paint. So it's a bit like Fiona's touch on my 3D flower. Yes. That's okay. There, that's better. Yeah? That's a lot better, yeah. Now you could spin this on the lazy Deborah if you really wanted to. You could, you absolutely. I know you prefer to do what you're gonna do now, which is? Tilt in time. It's tilt in time. You do prefer to tilt rather than I spin, I do prefer right? to tilt, yes. Okay. Yeah. Excited, I'm excited to see what happens.
thousand ways Wanna sing, sing, sing in a thousand ways Alright guys, there you have it. I love it. Um, I think it's very interesting. The colors are very coral reef. They totally are. And uh, yeah, I think this was a successful leaky cup. I, I really, I like the petal that you can still see the shape in the middle. I think it's really pretty. Awesome, thank mm, you so much. Well done, baby. Yeah. All right, let's uh, get my edges and take you guys in for a close up. Let's do it. All right, ladles and jelly spoons. Jeremy, I really love that leaky cup. Oh, thank you. I I'm sometimes a little torn over the, the, the compositions of those leaky cups, but I thought that one was really successful. I think it was those really wonderful colors you picked. Oh, thank you. Well done, sir. Now this is a 16 by 20 inch. It has been taped, it's been push pinned. Why do we tape them is a question we get asked. It, it's basically to make the backs really neat. Because I'm grabbing this thing with my gloved dirty hands as I'm tilting. Well, when I peel this tape off, then at least the back of the canvas is really very neat and pretty. And we sell like 95% of the pieces that you see on the channel. Yeah. So it really helps us. And the push bins help keep the paint Sorry, the canvas off the table so the bottom of the canvas isn't sitting in paint which would also ruin the composition on the back now what am i doing okay i've got two plastic no paper cups here sorry and i'm going to layer them and i'm going to ribbon pour again um really enjoyed that ribbon pour that i did with the mm. colors that jerry picked in the last piece so beautiful thank you um so i'm going to do it again and i really love these colors again that jerry picked so i think it just lends itself to a really fun ribbon pour um so that's exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to ribbon pour this bad boy on this canvas now jeremy i'm going to layer them right here yep I'm going to layer the colours on top of each other, okay. kind of similar to how you do with your marbling, marbling. but I'm not going to break them and not sandwich in them with white. So um, let's kick this off. So I'm going to put a layer of the electric blue in. And then I'm going to put a layer of the wonderful, like, oceany blue. Yeah, that's a beautiful blue you made. Okay, then let's go in with some of that wonderful copper. Ooh, that's pearl marmalade. Oh, I'm sorry, pearl marmalade. It just looks like copper, but yeah, you're right, I'm sorry. Pearl marmalade. Okay, now let's go in with some of the vermilion. Ooh. So not pouring down the side of the cup, actually pouring on top to create these wonderful layers. Okay, um, I'm going to use a little bit of the colour that is the base or the flow extender and just put a little tad of that on the middle because I really love this green and I want to see how it kind of layers with the other colours and it was literally like 15 different colours in that runoff. Now time for a little bit of gold. Just like the pearl marmalade, it will take over if you allow it. So it's going to go in there fairly sparingly. And I don't mind putting that next to the red. Love it. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of the electric blue. Now that shouldn't create a purple like it would do if you mix them together. And then let's pour some of this ocean back on top. And then I think I might just top her off with a little bit of the marmalade again. 
And then I'm going to finish with the floor extender cover. And that is me done. All right, peeps, there's my two layered cups. Now, I picked the paper cups for this one because I wanted to create a little spout, like so, for nice. me to pour that one onto the canvas. So, here is my wonderful layered cup. Um, I contemplated doing this one a diagonal kind of composition going this way, but I've decided I'm gonna go straight lines again, um, intentionally for this pour. Um, so let's do it. Let's get this paint on this canvas and see what happens. So that is my woven piece of beautiful fabric on my canvas as it looks like to me. So now I'm going to just take the composition kind of left and right, left and right, opening up these lines, a little bit of backwards and forwards too, just to make sure that everything is covered. But it is now ribbon pour tilting time. <laughs> so let's do this. But before I do that, I'm just going to make sure that I've got plenty of coverage on all of my corners and down the sides. This is the runoff flow extender paints. Perfect. Okay, now let's tilt this one backwards and forwards. It is Jeremy, tilting time. Tilting time.
All right, wonderful people. Um, I am done. I tilted backwards, forwards, backwards and forwards. I tidied up my edges and made sure that all my corners and all my sides were all covered. So why did I decide to do a ribbon pour for this one? Well, the person that we've been talking to that really wanted us to use these colors, the Caribbean colors, was talking about like the Caribbean Sea and coral. And I almost wanted it to look like a slice of something. Um, and I really love the ribbon pour, you know, for those kind of neat-ish lines. I see all the colours, I've got some really wonderful cells, I see the gold and the red interacting really pretty. I like this one a lot, um, I think it looks really awesome. It's beautiful. So, I'm going to be done, I've just torched it, I've got my edges, I'm going to take you guys in for a close-up. Let's have a look at this one together. Thank you guys. So there you have it. There you have it. <laughs> Yay, another fun pour done. Yes, I, I, I was so excited to do the leaky cup again because it's one of my favorites to do. Right. And uh, I, th I think it came out rather successful. I was gonna ask you, did you, did you yeah. like it? Yeah. Mm, I, I liked did. it too. I really mm. enjoyed these colors that you used this time around. Thank you. Um, I um, I really love that you kept that kind of mm. flower shape on the canvas. Yes. Which I know you try and do, although you can tilt a bit of it off. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. I thought it was really pretty, actually. Yeah. And I really loved my ribbon pour. Yeah. I loved your ribbon pour. I thought Thank it was you. stunning. There's something about it, it always just looks like weaving. Um, yeah. It's just, it's a really fun technique. It looks really easy. Um, and, you know, I would put it as an easy level as like the flip cup. But it's all about just getting the right kind of mm. colors um, and just manipulating that composition. Yeah. So yeah, if you're a beginner, the ribbon pour is probably one of the good ones to start with. Yes, mm. I, lo I love that, the Thank ribbon you. pour, yeah. I liked it too. Yeah. So why don't we go ahead and take you in for the wet results one more time. Let's do it. All right, guys, so there you got to see those again. I can't wait to, uh, to hear the comments. Right. Um, or to hear the comments, to read the comments. <laughs> oh, I can hear the comments. <laughs> right. And uh, I answer all those back pretty much, uh, lead, lead us to, so yeah. we love getting those. If, okay. you if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It means everything to us. Um, also, on Tuesday's mm -hmm. episode, uh, Cause Creations, Kathleen, mm -hmm. um, if I'm not mistaken, she has a premiere too that day. She does. Her premiere is actually going to go straight after hours. So we're going to go at 5 o'clock Eastern, probably till 5.30, and then Kathleen is going to premiere at 5.30 straight after us. It's not a collaboration as such, um, but she's going to premiere with us. So please come and watch our episode, and then let's all go over to Kathleen's house and see what she's got to pour. That's awesome. Yeah, it's going to be so much fun. All right, guys, we're going to let you get to the rest of your day. Enjoy your Sundays. Yes. Thank you for being here with us on this premiere. Yes. And we'll see you on Tuesday for another fun pour. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. So we want to take a moment to spank. Spank? We want to spank some very special people. <laughs> Larry. We want to take a moment to thank some very special people. Absolutely. And that's our... 
Patreons. So the Patreon account is a very separate account from YouTube, mm -hmm. but it allows some very important people the opportunity to get a little bit of a closer look of the studio. And there are certain levels. So at one level, for example, you get to see sneak peeks and behind the scenes videos. Mm -hmm. At another level, you're invited to join us in a WhatsApp group where we chat, we exchange pictures, and you also get weekly painting challenges. In another level, you get um, once a month live streams. At another level, you get once a month tutorials that are live. Yes. And then at our top tier, the diamond level, you would get to pick the colors and the technique for an episode of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. And then you get to keep one of the 11 by 14 inch canvases every single month. So we have some awesome people that we'd like to take a moment to thank. And that is at the gold level, we have Janice Swansea, we have Jane Klein, we have Trisha West and Donna Patterson. We have Gloria Salaki, we have Nate Bright, Linda Serian, and Amy Gardner, who you all know as Crafty Chicken Mom. Yes, that's right. And on our platinum level, we have Leslie Beaver and Janice Pittman. And our one and only diamond level Massey Posse is Sparkles. Yay! AKA Laurie Finzer. And We'd really love to say, we appreciate you all. Thank you so very much. And everyone else that's listed down here below, yes. thank you so much for being a Patreon. Absolutely. We really genuinely appreciate you. Thank you so very much.